hello welcome to this video in this video i will show how to display pivot field and pivot item names on message box already i created a pivot table here all these are pivot fields this pivot table consists of six pivot fields item date quantity price location and zone now i want to display all these pivot field names on message box open vbe this is the complete code press f5 to start the debugging first i define input worksheet next i created a function to define pivot table here i used pivot tables method of worksheet object sales is the pivot table name next i am going to display pivot fields count on message box now this pivot table consists of six fields click on okay here i am using for loop which starts from 1 and ends with pivot fields count which represents to 6 first pivot field name is item second pivot field name is date third one is quantity fourth one is price fifth one is location and sixth one is zone now i will show how to display pivot item names on message box for the pivot field of item item is the pivot field in this pivot table pivot field item consists of four pivot items so i want to display these four names on message box open vb this is the complete code press f8 to start the debugging first to define the worksheet next to define the pivot table now i am going to display pivot items count for the pivot field of item on message box press f8 so item pivot field consists of four pivot items here i am using for loop which starts from 1 and ends with pivot item counts of item pivot field this is first pivot item name click on okay second one third one fourth one in this way we can display pivot item names for a particular pivot field on message box next i would like to show how to display pivot items 
by using nested for loops open vbe this is the complete code to accomplish this task i use two for loops this is external loop and this is internal loop external loop applicable to pivot fields and coming to internal loop applicable to pivot items external loop considers all the pivot fields when our condition satisfied means pivot field name matched with the loop variable then program enters into internal loop after completion of internal loop here i provided a string field identified is equal to s yes. then program exists from for loop this if condition avoids subsequent iterations after completion of internal loop so this is the structure of program press f8 to start the debugging define input data worksheet next to define the pivot table zone pivot field consists of four pivot items there we can find east north south west this is the third iteration zone is 61 so whenever iteration number comes to 6 program moves to internal loop now this is fifth iteration this one is the sixth one now program moved into internal loop first one is east north south west these are the pivot items of zone pivot field till this time field identifies is empty so after completion of internal loop value assigned to field identified is s now we are exiting from for loop it ends the program click on pivot fields message box click on pivot items message box click on pivot item required field in this way we can display required pivot field or pivot item names on message box as per our requirement hope this video is useful to everyone thanks for watching